Hey, Brewtubers, Julia here. And I'm Chicago's favorite horror host, Sven Bruley. Erwin. That's Bruley. So we figured because we are just weeks away from All Hallows' Eve, we decided to cover the best Halloween beers from Chicago breweries. In this video, we're going to cover the top five beers from Chicago proper, so we're not going to be including any suburbs beers. Whether you're getting ready to throw a fun Halloween party and need some fun festive beers. Or if you're like me and you're working all day and night and want to have a little bit of holiday spirit, this is the video for you. At the number five spot, we have Maplewood Brewery's Crispy Cakes. This one is a golden ale brewed with vanilla and marshmallow. It has an ABV of 6.7%, and it's a bit boozier. We literally had an amazing experience at our last video. If you didn't check it out, go check it out. But it really made a great impression on us. It's a dessert beer that opens up with vanilla and golden ale, but resolves into this lovely marshmallow flavor when it settles on your palate. It's got a medium body that goes down refreshingly smooth and tastes like cake batter on a spoon. You want to get into the spirit of trick-or-treating by having a sweet beer that's not too overpowering. This is the beer. Grab Crispy Cakes from Maplewood Brewery and distill it. At the number four spot, we have Pumpkin Beer for Cafes by Off Color Brewing. Of course, we had to feature a pumpkin beer for this list, and this is the best that Chi Town has to offer. It's a pumpkin ale with 5% ABV. It's brewed with actual pumpkin puree, vanilla beans, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and rooibos tea. The result is this pumpkin chai flavored beer that's as smooth as it is delicious. Most pumpkin beers tend to be fuller bodied, which to me tends to taste a bit syrupy and it's like really in your face. So it's not for everybody, but this one is not that at all. It actually is very surprising. It's very light. Um, it's very medium bodied, full balance, and it's perfect for Halloween. So if you are looking for a great pumpkin beer, make sure you check this one out. You know, you gotta like, you gotta. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. At the number three spot, we have Pipeworks Brewing Company's Haze and Mirrors. The presentation of this can is absolutely stunning and super Halloween. We love this beer because it's a hazy IPA with a 5.6% ABV. It is brewed with Azaka, Simcoe, and Amarillo hops. The Azaka hops are known for their tropical citrus flavors, while Amarillo hops have a prominent note of oranges. Simcoe Hops balances everything out with a piney and earthy bitterness, giving it a clean finish. It's the perfect pairing with Starburst, Skittles, any kind of citrus candy. It's not a palate crusher. In fact, it's very balanced and it's a surefire crowd pleaser in any party situation or if you're partying by yourself like me. You need a blast of citrus, you're gonna want Haze and Mirrors. At the number two spot, we have Around the Bed Beer Company's October Fiesta. Since October is home to Hispanic Heritage Month and Halloween, this beer feels like a match made in heaven. Or hell. Or wherever tasty beers come from. Look at that sexy little skeleton. It's like your sexy skeleton. The perfect marriage of Oktoberfest and Day of the Dead. This is a traditional Marzen style lager with pasilla chilies and epizote. Don't be alarmed, the chilies in this beer are not spicy. They add a pleasant herbaceous flavor that pairs nicely with the sweet caramely taste of Oktoberfest. It's got a 6% ABV, so be mindful when you get lost in how smooth this beer is because it is certainly smooth. Presentation and taste are just absolutely perfect one for a phenomenal beer for Halloween. And if you're looking for a way to combine Oktoberfest and Halloween, this is what you want. At our number one spot, we have Illuminated Brewworks. Pazuzu's Petals. This is a haunting homage to one of the scariest movies in American cinema. This one is a porter with a 6.5 ABV. It's got a velvety texture that doesn't sit in your belly like you just ate pea soup while watching The Exorcist. Shockingly smooth. This one is a lovely blend of dark chocolate, coffee, dark fruit, smoke, and herb. It's well balanced and the right amount of darkness for the night of mischief and mayhem. It's the perfect partner for chocolate bars or anything with peanut butter. If you want a beer that flashes subliminal messages into your soul like the movie does, look no further than Pazuzu's Petals. 
That's all the time we have for YouTubers. Let us know in the comments below if we missed maybe one of your Halloween beers that you love or if there were any other Chicago beers that you felt should have made the list. As always, be responsible, tip pretenders, drink locally, and happy, happy Halloween! Halloween! Ooh, I'm a ghost.